Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. As you see in front of us, we have a news and this is not really a news. One of the ways of the cult of Islam, which is many, they lie to us and they say Islam means peace and Islam is a terrorist, a, a terrorist religion. Uh, as you see, a Kurdish bookseller in Iran, he sentenced to prison for selling Bible. He is not even preaching the Bible, he is just doing business so for selling the bible in iran you go to jail and some they say you will stay there up to 10 years uh, <clears throat> i mean how dare you to sell bible that's not right mustafa rahimi is a person who is a kurdish was arrested in 11 june on charge of selling bibles in his bookstore uh, <clears throat> here we notice the fear of the cult of Islam you see uh, all inclusive cult nobody else is allowed to say anything there is one religion one prophet one God and if you don't agree with us we kill you and then they give us a speeches like Rouhani the, pri the, the president of Iran he go to human rights council in the United Nations and he gives speeches about human rights. And even they make movies about human rights in the USA. In the USA or many Western countries, all of them actually, they allow Muslims to build their mosque, preach their cult, and even they are very uh, tolerant even with the hatred they teach. And that, you know, is a different story. We can talk about it in different video. But here you notice how much this cult fear the Bible. It's just a book. I mean, how you want to teach your children that Christians believe is false? Let them read the Bible. No. Because reading the Bible is dangerous. The Iranian government, especially in Iran, they noticed that hundreds and thousands of thousands and millions of Iranians, they left Islam already, and many in their way to leave. Actually, if we go to Google right now, you will find endless number of news about Iranian converting to Christianity. Actually, me, myself, I experienced something funny once. I was uh, visiting the Silicon Valley, and I found... Uh, I saw a big, big, big crowd in, uh, in the park. And uh, they have signs in Arabic, in Arabic letters, but not Arabic language, which is Persian language. So I could not understand really what those signs mean and I said to myself, all oh, those are Muslims? So I stopped by and I entered the park, saying to myself, maybe I can say, share some of my knowledge with those poor Muslims who need help to leave the cult of Islam. And when I got inside the park, which have more than 20,000 people, I found that all of those, they are converted to Christianity. They have a huge churches in USA and those they are Iranian who used to be Muslims and actually most of you and many of you know our friend Amir who is from Iran and his brother his family and uh, actually I have once a guest uh, uh, a young lady uh, she was an ex-Muslim from Iran too and her family so uh, Iranian they are coming to Christ in a huge number so how we can stop them the answer is very simple according to the foolish Iranian government. We force no one, or let's say we stop anyone from providing knowledge about Christianity. Uh, the only knowledge we provide you is our fake knowledge, which is false teaching about Christianity and what the Christians believe. But is that going to work? Absolutely not. Actually, it does the opposite uh, job. And at the end of the day, people, they seek the truth. And in the age of the internet, how silly, how stupid it is to stop and to jail somebody from selling the Bible. I mean, okay, he, he will not get it from a store. He can go in the internet. As long as the internet is connected to the country, everybody can even watch my videos. So it's a very stupid, silly move of the Iranian government, which is anti-Christ, anti-human right, anti any kind of right. It's a, it's a filthy... Uh, 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 terrorist uh, government 
and they shout day and night that they want to kill all the Jews, they want to kill all the Americans, they want to kill all, and yet and in the morning they shout death to America, death to Israel, and afternoon they go to the United Nations and they give us a speeches about a human right. This is why I lost my respect to this called the Human Rights uh, Council in the United Nations. Actually, in the last few months, the one was in charge of Human Rights uh, Council in, U in the United Nations, you believe it or not, it was Saudi Arabia. You believe it? Saudi Arabia is in charge of a human right council. I mean, this is stupid, and this this uh, this uh, United Nation was established for something, and today is something else. So, I say to all those who try to fight Christianity, the age of fighting and muting is over. The only way to stop Christianity from coming to your door, to turn off your TV, don't allow anyone to have satellite. And cut the internet and live in the cave time try it maybe it will work if it work let me know Christian press is waiting for your answer thank you guys for watching leave your comment and don't forget uh, to uh, leave comment without being hatred per person we don't teach hate here we have to say things as it is with the truth without being hatred we don't want to be like the Iranian <coughs> sorry we don't want to be like the Iranian government or uh, Muhammad and his uh, uh, teaching. We are followers of Christ and we need to remember that always. We love the Muslims and this is why actually we feel sorry when we see that somebody trying to humiliate them because this is nothing but a humiliation to the Muslims. They don't want them even to read. I mean, everybody have the right to read. Forget about converting to Christianity. Even reading is, not, is haram. You cannot read the Bible. A page from the Bible is dangerous. It's like a nuclear weapon. Actually, it's more scary than a nuke for them from, you know, because of their mentality. So share your comment and tell me what do you think about what, what they do in Saudi Arabia, Islamic countries, Pakistan, you name it. All of them trying to fight the Bible. It's just a book. But this book can change the life and change is coming. Kurdish actually are converting to Christianity in a huge number most of north Syria, of syria right now is coming to christ as never before from the kurdish so news is good and they fight it they don't fight it it doesn't make any difference the roman before you they did their part their you know part muhammad himself he did his part his god allah the fake allah did his part the angel jibreel with the squeezing hands did his part but none of them was able to change the fact that christianity is going to grow and Christianity will save millions and billions of people so the Messiah the Lord he says that the earth and the heaven they will go and my words will not so who are you to stop that you cannot heaven and earth will pass away but my words will never pass away and in Psalm 102 it says they will perish but you will remain they will, they will all wear out like garments, like a clothing, you will change them, and they will be faithful. So my friends, right, one more comment before we go and finish this video. One, uh, there is somebody, a Muslim, Muhammad, and he say, well, there is many versions of the Bible, so which one? That is very silly, my friend, this is translation. And, you know, trans if you don't like the translation, we'll go and learn the original language in Hebrew, in Aramaic, uh, you know, and you can, then you do not need any of those translations. Those are just translations. When we say version, we are not talking about a new Bible. And actually, my favorite one is Aramaic Bible in plain English, because it has a very close to the meaning, due to my background as a person who speaks uh, uh, Middle Eastern language, uh, you will notice right away that the Aramaic Bible in plain English is one of the best translations you can find in the internet. So I want to say thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you all. Christ is Lord, and His word will stay, and everyone will perish, except those who believe in me, Christ said. If they die, they will live. Thank you, and see you soon.